Roll camera. I love you, Nairobi! It's all about sex. All she wants is to succeed. She's very hot. He's quite a promiscuous man. It's not for my mother. <laughs> Hey, what's up, people? We're here in Nairobi, filming a brand new drama for MTV. It's basically about uh, young people in Nairobi, dealing specifically with the uh, student lifestyle. We wanted to show a side of Africa that a lot of people globally don't generally get to see. This drama series is a three-part series with three main kind of storylines, three main kind of characters. And it's all about sex. Our first story is driven by our lead character, uh, Aira. She has some risky sexual behavior that really compromises her and the people she loves. It's a transition from fun to the fear, you know? The second strand of the story is a guy called Scola. On page, he was simply a clown, you know, the bad boy, the promiscuous figure. The third main character is Virginia. She falls in love with this boy, but apparently can't be together because she keeps a secret from him. This experience has, you know, just kind of brought things close at home for me. Oh, I won't lie, it's gonna be huge, it's gonna be huge. Okay, not the fact that I'm in it. <laughs> I'm here today as like one of the judges on the judging panel. So we're doing a public audition and looking for some interesting characters. Are you auditioning together? Yeah. Yeah. You guys look like a couple. Are you strangers? Perfect <laughs> strangers. Perfect strangers. Yeah. yeah. I came here to audition for the spot of Slick because I think I'm actually Slick. In relationship, I look for a guy who is um, straightforward and a guy who is true, you know, real. I don't need you to pretend to me and I don't need you to have money or something. I just want you to be yourself. We're looking for two young actors. Well, we're looking for talented individuals who are going to star in a series that's going to just highlight issues concerning HIV and AIDS amongst the youth. She's way too low. Is that the best you can do? I guess the time has come. I'm feeling nervous right now. I um, hope I don't mess up. My name is Tewo Masatsi. I'm the director of the new series that we're doing for MTV. This is what we propose. Yeah. And action. They say that Beyonce is beautiful, but compared to you, she's way too slow. <laughs> is, that, is that the best you can do for a girl? Come on. <laughs> I'll do anything for you. <laughs> All right, fine. Off you go then. Get yourself into all that track and whatever. Get hit or something. So we're excited about this new initiative. Um, it's never been done before. Yeah. Honey, you want to look good. I love her. I love her. Oh, oh, just come closer. Just come. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's so many young, talented Kenyans out there who've never tried for film before, and here they had a, such a great opportunity to be on TV, stardom. They were really excited. All right, guys, we need you to do that scene that you've been rehearsing. We'll stop you when we've had enough. Hey, excuse me. Hey, it was, yeah, it was okay. You are friendly, you are friendly. Thank you.
So we have our cast, we have our locations, and now we need to know what we're going to wear. Today, the actors are coming to try on their wardrobe. I have a very wide head. Check me out, Obama, baby. <laughs> they had me try out some ridiculous looking outfits from like 1991. And this is my contract that you should not be touching me. We are looking for outfits for Scola, Ty, Leo, the main boys that are in this shoot of ours, and Kennedy. I'm comfortable. They're kind of going with a hip hop Kanye West look. These are scripts for episode two and three. Read the script, make your own movie. Ah. Shooting starts on Monday. This is Colin, this is Kennedy. No, no, this is Ken this is this is a coffee boy. I think I have a stalker. Look at this guy. Hey, this is uh, Pepe Hayes, and I'm playing Ty in the movie. He's been dating Ayura for a very long time. He wants to get married. And then my character finds out that she's been cheating on him, which is very bad. So now they have to go for an HIV test. I use condom because it's safe. There was another friend of mine who had HIV, he loved chicks, got infected, and he died in 2007. That's why I knew HIV is real. In Nairobi, it's like everyone will find it nice if you have like five chicks or three chicks. But on my side, me, I don't think that's cool. Yesterday I was at the market and we found a lot of cool stuff, especially for the ladies. I my boobs. <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's very hot. hot. My name is Lupita Nyongo and I'm playing Aira. For me personally, I have a lot in common with Aira in terms of having really big dreams and wanting to pursue them at all costs. We don't necessarily make the same decisions, but I've definitely been in places where I've made a, a choice in a, a relationship that I wasn't proud of in retrospect. She is distrustful of men, which uh, makes her put her career before anything else. Day one, uh, getting ready to do a first scene with the girls. I am nervous. So it's like, yeah, I can't believe we're finally here. This is the first take of the first day, and I am very excited, also very nervous. <laughs> uh, so I'm very excited, and I promise day 10, I'll be just like this. And action. What? Why would you keep an on you? Cut. Ayura gets home for the first time. She was out with uh, Shuka Daddy. So when do I see you again? Uh, I'll call you. We meet um, the girls. Uh, her best friends, Cindy and Violet. My character, Violet, she loves to dress up, you know, put on the heels and look hot and sexy. And I play Cindy. <laughs> She's the kind of girl who's, you know, always got your back forever and ever. One of those really loyal friends. Mark, one action. The script is very strong. I really liked it. I read it uh, over the weekend. And I'm sure it will have a very big impact on the youth, especially the urban youth who live in urban centers like Nairobi, Mombasa, and other towns in East Africa. It will have a very strong impact on those. The scene we're about to shoot is where my character, Violet, uh, is about to go to the VCT to get tested. And she's scared, extremely scared. Okay, stand by. She ends up uh, indulging herself in what one may call risky behavior, you know, risky sexual behavior, because she's got multiple concurrent relationships. It's very, very important that uh, young people understand they can't uh, 
uh, take risks today, uh, Saturday night, uh, and then on Monday morning go and have an HIV test and be relieved that they're negative. That, that HIV test will simply not tell anything about the, uh, their HIV status. They'll have to go back after, at a minimum, six weeks, but on the safe side, we say uh, three months, uh, and then, then they'll, they'll know their status. I am still trying to gather that kind of confidence to go test again, because even if I know I have not been sleeping around without a condom, there's still the fear that maybe, and I should test again. <laughs> this year, my 2009 resolution, I will test. I'm about to be back to big Mike right now. And it's happening, it's not that I'm staying here and rapping and I'm telling you Africa, we been massacred by this thing called HIV and I see the children out there, they're dying with no parents, I'm telling you, gotta stay one on one, mess with one on three, nah it's gonna kill you, see I be an MC and I'm here to educate with MTV up on the set of a TV show, you know I go with the style of soul flow, boxing with hip hop and representing Africa. I'm about to go into my first scene with Ty. Right now, I'm about to shoot the scene where Ty apologizes to Ayira for being a jealous fool. And it's, um, it starts off a bit mushy, and then it gets real sexy. Like, in the end, there's this, wah. OK, I, I won't give it away. She makes me look good. It's all good. <laughs> Stay. Oh, it's the end of my first day, and I'm actually I'm more tired than I thought I would be. But it was great. It was very intense. I was doing a lot of very emotional scenes, and I don't know why I'm looking at you with one eye, but. <laughs> and action. We had to exercise in the bed, right, to get breathless. He's quite a promiscuous man. It's not for my mother. <laughs> I'm Agnes. <laughs> and I'm Liz, and we're chilling right here in Upper Hill, and we just gave away our house. We know exactly what's happening here, right? So Ayura's going to be staying here. And I hope she keeps everything in together as we go. And she loves Kill her. We're holding it down right here in <laughs> Upper Hill. Holla at your girl. Peace! <laughs> it. It's every woman's dream to have a collection like this, so it's a collection. We're sitting in our era's bedroom. Um, there are a few sex scenes in here. Um, but uh, we're trying to make it as as womanly and girly as possible. This is not, it's far, far, far too big. It's far too big. The big stuff. Welcome, Rob. Basically, we had to exercise in the bed, right? <laughs> Do push ups or something to, to get breathless. Basically, we're just like, we're really passionate. You know, bring it back, no, I ain't done with it. Girls like me don't stop to finish. So hitting on me, please don't be silly. You town too small to get that big city. Yeah, yeah, the girl got it. Don't really take too much to spot it. Yeah, yeah, the girl got it. You can see the rappers and the extra, extra magnums, you know, carry a few. Yeah, we use, we use condoms. We love our bodies, we love our women, we love we love our men, I mean, the women love the men. Are we sexual people? Do we really appreciate one another? Definitely we do. We're shooting scene one. Scene one is um, me waking up in her bed. It was just casual sex, yeah. mm -hmm. nothing more. Exactly. We're also exploring uh, at least two or three other things, particularly the high risk of, uh, of, of HIV transmission when people have what we call multiple partners. Uh, if it's a man sleeping with several different girls, roughly at the same time, sleeping with one girl on Monday and Tuesday and another girl at the weekend, Friday or Saturday, and then going back to the first girl. We now understand that's really very high risk behavior. That increases the chance of HIV uh, being transmitted uh, when men do that, when women do that. 
I can relate to my character because first and foremost, I love fun. You know, I go out, I'm young. We go to the clubs and we'll drink. At times we get drunk. <laughs> That's not for my mother. We are extreme. We can have fun, but we don't have to have fun to the point where we are actually putting ourselves at risk, so. I play Scholar in this drama. He's a character who takes so many sexual risks. I need your help. Yes. One of the issues being tackled in this drama is uh, the issue of circumcision. We can now say with certainty um, that circumcised men have a considerably reduced risk of becoming HIV infected. We can't say that circumcision is totally preventive. We can't say that circumcision is as good as a condom. Uh, but we can say being circumcised is an additional safety belt, if you like, like a seat belt in a car. So this is me. I'm definitely tweeting about this because I'm so excited and everyone is kind of keeping up with me. They're so curious to know what's going on. So I'm saying I'm on the MTV shoot, shooting day two, and I'm excited, excited, excited. Yeah, so you should follow me too. I'll follow you, I promise. Michael Jackson jacket, I see. Suede. I love the bras, I don't know what that's all about. Booty shorts, <laughs> underwear, <laughs> a lot of sex scenes, man. My first scene was a peeing scene, so it was a nice little <laughs> introduction into my acting career. Well, this is the scene where um, Scola confronts Violet. And action! Going from someone who doesn't care about having concurrent sexual partners and who doesn't, just basically who doesn't give a damn, from that, it's like uh, going from one to 180 in <laughs> Uh, what, three seconds? I drove a BM for the first time. Hey, uh, my name is Nicholas Mutuma, and I'm playing Leo. Right this now. This is the first scene I'm doing uh, in the production, and I'm really psyched. The adrenaline rush is on. He's a very soft-spoken kind of guy. He is the youngest in his group. I'm looking at a mama so fresh. Yani, she squeaks. Don't talk about my girl like that. Ah, uh, you guy. Mwembe mwende out ama tutamrarua ni nini? Being in uni, uh, people are just realizing the sexuality. Buddies, don't hate me for saying this. Yeah, my friends do have a lot girls and there's a lot of sex and there's a lot of drugs and a lot of alcohol but yeah I'm the good guy so <laughs> I'm playing Virginia is my role well the first scene I filmed with Nicholas was I walk into this dress shop I'm attracted by the clothes then I start having fantasies with Nicholas <laughs> well I think he's a really nice sweet guy Protection. We just landed at this place where we're meeting a whole lot of press. Um, there's a lot of excitement and a lot of buzz about this campaign. There's explicit talk all the time. Why is it that we can talk about those things on radio and we can't show it in, in film? Uh, I'm just winding up with some extras down here and then come over. I play the character of Kennedy. Kennedy is a campus guy, he's in university. Like for Kennedy, he has sex with, I think, anything that he's wearing in a skirt. If it's a tree or a chick, that's what he does, you know? He's really irresponsible and he's a lucky guy, probably, because he gets what he wants. But um, it's a wake-up wake call for him also at the same time. Today we're shooting uh, all the Ayura scenes, uh, all the office, art agency, and this is all being filmed.
at this top of the range um, hotel. MTV Cribs living the big life. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. This is Cribs. <laughs> Now my character, Ayira, lands her dream job right in here with this agency. I made the paper. <laughs> Lupita Nyong'o plays the lead role, Ayira, a beautiful and vivacious college student who is using her body to give her family a better life. <laughs> Hi, my name is Timisha Masha, and I play the character of Felix. The thing with Felix is that he's emotionally unavailable, and, and I think that's probably why He's quite a promiscuous man, and he's so addicted to that feeling of sort of being like the man, to put it blandly, that he doesn't really care if he's putting his own life in danger, let alone the lives of other people. Young people are out there trying to create their future, especially young ladies in Africa, all, all around the continent, this is actually a problem. If I give an older man who has means my body, he might help me to reach my goal in life. That's very dangerous because that could be the very behavior that um, scuppers your dreams. Hey, um, right now we're shooting that scene where Virginia is with Lilo at the pool. Yeah, it's colorful, it's beautiful, it's free. Um, and it's that kind of candy shop everybody would want to get. I was kind of afraid because I thought I would <laughs> I'll fall inside the water and I had expensive phones and an iPod. <laughs> Actually, this scene... Oh, okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> No mystery, I'm history in the making. You heard about me like murder, she wrote, but I freestyled it. Be glad you waited, I'm greatness. What you know about me in the game? I just hit like whoops. It's a for this location, it's a unique move to the church location. Thank you very much for today. And I hope millions of people watch this. What I would like them to remember is, if you love yourself, get tested. Nameless, ni furahi day. 